Follow my new music Instagram. Link in bio. I just ripped the meanest fart. Hogwarts Legacy, baby. Lumos. If you're here for my wares, I'm afraid I still don't have my carts. I got you, gang. Oh, I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. I don't, I don't know what to say. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Ramrock's like I'm him. Me a fool for believing in the good and wizard kind. I'm Thank him. you for proving them wrong. Timothy, don't forget it. I managed to free your carts fairly easily. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my paints. <gasps> you know, you've inspired me. I've been dealing with witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. Sounds wonderful, man. That's a nice idea, Ron. I wish you luck with it. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Uh, thank you again for all you've done. All the best to you. Once my... Once my car. Should probably get back to the, to the... You feel me? And... Get to bed. The fuck? She got a bed. How do I get a fucking bed? I suppose I'm not allowed up there. The fuck? What is up with this fucking place, bro? I don't remember where my fucking room is. He's eating shit. I'm seeing you, bro. Revelio. Here's a little house troll, dude. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. I'm just trying to go to sleep, bro. Do what I'm supposed to be doing. This is gonna do potions. Actually, expel the arm. Okay, I need to dodge to do that. Let's do the potions class, I guess. I just sat here all night. Cray cray. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As Haircuts. fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wiganweld potion can be used to sterilize the and same even heal me. a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wiganweld potion of your own. I need some of those. You never anyways. know when you might need it. 
Please begin. I do indeed need some. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Indeed, indeed. Perfecto, perfecto patronum. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And Indeed. from what I hear of your recent okay. exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, indeed, however, indeed. may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more resourceful. Indeed, Come see indeed. me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. fret if you run out of ingredients. I simply grow most of what I need. Professor Sharps. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors hey, of the Goblin Rebellion. Is that a gang? That's not a gang. Did I hear Professor Sharps say that you have permission to go into his office? <laughs> Indeed. How do you want to know that? Yes, but why does that matter to you? Brilliant! And it matters because you can be a part of something truly creative. Oh, I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a <gasps> prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Weasley. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? By the She's Weasley's my aunt. Game. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Gareth. <sighs> but she can't Is it the father's name? everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need I'm always down for the Weasleys. Feather, as you'll already be you in swaggy, Sharp's Weasley. office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. I'll get you the Fwooper Feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fwooper Feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Keep your potion station. I don't want to read that. Revelio. Revelio. Hear it, don't see it. Oh, it's over there. Remember, precision is key when brewing potion. Here's the Fwapa feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Coolio. Should you chop the Dibney or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Oh god. Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it! Oh, you better not snitch what on me. Done? What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. 
That'll be points from Gryffindor, again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during... A well prepared you want to talk to me, gang? I was impressed that you were able to answer Professor Sharp's question about the Wiganweld potion. Oh, you're the new student. I've heard much about you. Um, thank you. Raven I'm Tal. Amit, by the way. Loser. Pleasure, truly. And I've Loser. never seen anyone brew such a flawless Wiganweld potion on their first try. Well done. I'm glad I was able to get it right the first time. You must simply have a knack for potion making. Some students seem so confounded by potion recipes, it's as if they're written in gobbledygook. A gobbledygook. fascinating language, by the way. Neither here nor there, really. What the I am a self-taught speaker. Merlin's beard, good conversation, is the enemy of free time. I must return my book, Gateway to the Far Stars, before my next class. Oh, I don't like you, sir. Speaking of stars, we'll be in astronomy together. You'll love it. Professor Shaw is firm, but quite clever. See you soon, no doubt. All right, whatever, gang. I brewed an Adura's potion as you asked, Professor. Oh, I'm, I'm so surprised out. you, you had my the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. Mm, nah. I'm not sure what you're talking about, Professor. You will not earn favor with me by failing to take responsibility for your actions. I suggest you heed my warning. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say, you've done well. I confess I was skeptical, given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. Cool, yeah. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding I'm really of the ingredients. Just entering themselves. the world right now, still. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Cool, yeah. Revelio. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. That was our main, our main mission. So now I'll do this. What? Coach Gary's research is. Oh, I gotta go to the Black Lake. Alrighty. Greetings, young Slytherin. Scrope knows about the old book you found for Professor Feek. Scrope can help you. And you can help Scrope get to the courtyard past that the That was a motherfucker. If you don't know it, you'll see it around. easy enough. And don't tell anyone what you're up to. Especially Professor Blank. They really got me swimming in this bitch. This is pretty though. Look at that. Wish I had my broom. This must be where the pink Smedley family astrolabe is. What the fuck? Got it. 
I should let Grace know that I found a phone in the Should take my robes off for this. What a skip. I didn't even see him. I'm just capping. When an X Men game is coming out, I just remembered. I was thinking about like. I watched a video about perfect X Men game where it's like Persona 5, but X Men characters. And then I just realized there's an X Men game coming out. That's gonna be sick. Trust you didn't find the dive too terribly difficult. Why didn't you do that shit? Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? How does it get brown? I did. Cool. I hope it makes your father happy. It will. I can't wait to see his face. Fellow Slytherin. Thank you so much for doing this for me. And for my family. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things I'm just good at fucking everything in this game. <laughs> Thank you again. And I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a nap. Yeah. I can do this very quick. Future champion coming through. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of cross ones ready? Big match today. It all comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? It is, it is. I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Yes. She's, she's been then with me. Let's get started. For a minute, bro. We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit. Alrighty. Stupid one. Stupid one. Have you come on? Akio. Fucked up. Can I heal again? Pleased to have done as well as I did. And we're pleased to have such a gracious champion. Now, to the victor goes the prize. And so it is my great honor to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment. I'm him. Thank you. Thank you. It's been an honor. You earned it. You are a duelist to be reckoned with. Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. Hmm. 
rope knows about the book you found it is it missing something scrope does not believe it is safe to speak out in the open scrope has left another note across the bridge among the circles of rocks take care and tell no one about this scrope who is scrope Off on another adventure, are we? Adieu. Revelio. Almost there, head for the pumpkins just down from the stone circle. Look inside one of them, you may be able to help poor broken hearted Scrope. Pumpkins? Ah, I think I know just the place. here not too long ago. Revelio. Hold on inside here. Can I go in here? Like this upgraded my gear. Should kind of look clean for real, but like, no, not with the vibes and the fits. I like that you can upgrade it though. Or you can uh, change the look though. The young Slytherin must be exceptionally curious by now. Meet Scrope at the water's edge by the broken docks. Down to the water's edge? Hmm, this had better not be a trick. You about to jump me or come try to t fondle me or something? I seen you've been fucking <coughs> Thank floating you for around coming all this way. The rooms. I knew I saw you, bro. The name's Scrope. Scrope serves the headmaster. I've been in the Black family for years. Black Apologies family. for the abundance of notes. Scrope wanted to be sure you weren't followed. What's this all about? Your notes mention the book I found in the restricted section. Scrope can tell you more in exchange for your help, but no one, especially the headmaster, can know. Are you defying your... Happy to help, especially if you can shed light on the book. Scrope is grateful. Scrope's late mistress, Apollonia Black, may she rest in peace, was a student at Hogwarts uh, over 50 years ago. Before she Golly. died, she spoke with passion of bitch. pages ripped from a book. Scrope suspects she took them to her private grotto. She was her private ghetto? Again, poor thing. Uh, Mistook Belladonna for elderberries. <laughs> Scrope tried to warn her. I'm sorry to hear that. But how do you benefit if I find the pages? Scrope believes that a treasured black ring is also in the black ghetto. family Scrope wishes the, to give it to the, the black family is in the ghetto you're talking wild right now entering the grotto Scrope. long ago 
Scrope continues to honour her wishes. The, 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 the ghetto, Scrope yeah. would not dare ask a student for help. But when Scrope learned you were looking for those pages, Scrope thought you might also find the ring. How did you know that I'd found a book and that it's missing pages? Scrope and the other house elves are good at staying out of sight. Scrope hears and sees many things in the castle. Scrope knows how to keep secrets. Uh. Tell me more about this treasured Precious. ring. Oh, it's adorned with the Black Family Crest. The headmaster would be pleased with Scrope for returning it. How did you injure your ear? The Blacks have a tradition of decapitating their house elves when their service is no longer required. One day, dear Apollonia was understandably frustrated with Scrope and got a bit too eager with a cleaver. Scrope mm -hmm. was able to convince the sweet girl of his value and now views this small injury as a reminder of her good heart. The fuck? It seems this may help us both. Um, I shall do it. Scrope is relieved. Scrope hoped the young Slytherin would be willing to help. And take this toast to the grotto just down the coast. And place I it have on to the go to the ghetto? There. Good luck. So I don't know about this gang. Scrope will wait right here for you. Best of luck finding your pages. And the ring. I shall investigate the ghetto. The grotto. The grotto. Rebellion. It was. Bro, I see you, gang. You're not going to trick me. Yes. Pussy. One shot, one kill. Bitch. Doug Bogue. Revelio. Oh, there's hell of them. Alright, let's fuck with that. Stupefy. seems to work on this motherfucker. Yo, what the fuck was that one right there? Y'all yeah, that shit. Check out this fucking robe. We getting down and dirty, bro. All right, not that down and dirty. Let's go here. You got me in the water. You should a lot right now. The fuck is this? Why would I need a piece of toast? I suppose that's where it goes. 
piece of toast. Did he give me that? I was not paying attention. I was talking about the ghetto and the black family. Is bro eating the toast? Gatata. Lumos. That's one might say. Could it be? A visitor? Who the fuck is that? You look just like my friend that's still alive. Oh! Ah. Ooh. <laughs> ah. The name's Richard Jackdaw. I was a student, just like you, about a century ago. How in the world did you find this place? A house elf named Scrope sent me. Said I might find a black family ring here. Ah. Sorry to say I sold the ring a long time ago. Poor Scrope. Still holds a candle for Apollonia, I reckon. Can't say I blame him. I stole all these treasures just to impress her. Alas, it was to no yeah. avail. I thought a secret though? map I pilfered from Peeves would pique her interest. But she simply rolled her eyes. What would I want with yellowed of, uh, old pages torn from a book? Of what's her name from Not uh, my finest moment. Vampire Diaries? Catherine? I'd like to have those pages if you don't mind. They're not here. I thought if Apollonia wasn't interested in the map on the pages, perhaps it would lead to something that would intrigue her. So, I followed the map. There's literally to what some I could only fucking describe as an diaries. enchanted cave of some kind. Shit. And you see what happens next. Here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you where to find the pages. Are we getting down and dirty? I think I could guess how you died, but who did it to you? I was having a look around when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze. After that, I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, if you do visit Damn. the cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. Why the toast? Why did I need the toast to get in here? Oh, that was Apollonia's idea. Seems some squids love toast. They should have taught you that at Hogwarts. How was it possible to steal from Peeves, a poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He has a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor. Whatever's sure to cause the most chaos. He dropped them after a particularly aggressive romp through the library. Do only magic people become ghosts? I suppose if that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you at the forest. I'm you sure the pages are still tucked in my waistcoat. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, my decapitated skeleton, they're yours for the taking. Okay. A map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Alrighty. Let's get going. I just murdered a family of frogs. Just realized that. That's your shit, boy. I know what it's at. Hello, Scrope. Thanks to you, I was able to enter Apollonia's grotto. The toast was the key. I met a ghost there, Richard Jackdaw, who's agreed to lead me to the pages I've been looking for. Oh, that boy was never good enough for Apollonia. Hey. Oh, what of the Black Family Ring? I'm sorry to say that Jackdaw sold it long ago. Sad news indeed. Scrope shall need to think of another way to impress the headmaster. 
Scrope takes some consolation in knowing that the young Slytherin found what they needed. I did. Thank you again, Scrope. You're a credit to house elves. Indeed, indeed. Oh, I got my fucking drip on. I look, I look mad sus right now. Look at me. I look like a school shooter. Professor, I, I completed did. all of your most recent assignments. I gave well my done. fucking. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Indeed. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spell casting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. Expelliarmus. Good work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. Expelliarmus! You seem to have the right end of the stick, but Let keep me practicing. Ah, here. Got it. Forbidden forest. Revelio. Not worth the trouble if you ask me. Legs are far too brittle. That drip on. That's got a mask too, so. I saw it. Don't play with me, I saw that shit. Must be like just the next one I'm getting. Mr. Dallas. 
Revelio. Boy, stoke. Hell no. When the clouds are dark is always the best time to strike. It's as if nature herself lends a veil beneath which to orchestrate one's treachery. Come here, doggy, 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 doggy. Stop right there! The beasts are safer now. Drip now. Nah. Hell no, nah, I don't get that drip now. Nah. Revelio. It's kind of sad. How does Wombo combo done, bro? We'll do this next time. It's about that time. Oh, okay. Some more music to copyright my shit. <laughs> here go my here go my version. Copyright rights. I really don't like copyright rights. Copyright rights. I really don't like copyright rights.